Hi, my name is Gareth and I am one part of Cooper's Corner. Welcome to our channel. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about myself. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I have been somewhat incapacitated for about three months now, 12 weeks. Um, I unfortunately had a very bad accident. Um, I don't know still to this day how it happened, but broke both of my shoulders left and right yes that's right I know my left and my right I like some people um, and it resulted in one having to be completely replaced um, and the other one being constructed reconstructed even uh, so the reason why this happened um, and what happened so badly is because I have a rare bone condition which is known as osteogenesis imperfecta So it might sound a little bit of a mouthful, but you probably know what it is already. If you know what osteoporosis is, then you'll know what osteogenesis is, sort of. So osteoporosis is something that you get as an older person or when you become of an age where your bones start to deteriorate and they get weak. Osteogenesis is exactly the same thing, but it's a genetical condition. If you've ever seen the amazing film Mr. Glass or Unbreakable, then uh, the main character in that film, Samuel L. Jackson, plays the role of someone who has the same condition. Um, so in a nutshell, basically what it is, is the ability to be able to form collagen around my bones. As a normal human being, I hate that word, but a functioning human being that has the ability to be able to create their own collagen. Um, my body has a gene defect that stops my 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 body from creating that basically which makes my bones very weak since I've been born I've probably had 250 to 300 fractures mainly on my legs um, I've never really broken my arms before um, I'd say touch wood but it's happened now so spit late to touch wood for those of you who don't know what that means basically it's an English term for if it happens then it's not going to happen if I touch wood. I don't even know where that comes from, but hey, one of them things, right? Anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm slowly recovering. Um, it's been a long, hard three months. Um, it's been tough. Um, most of the time was spent in hospital, um, recovering. Um, had, like I said, major show. Back to the future. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been slowly recovering. Um, like I said, I had major surgery on both shoulders. Um, it's been a tough time. Um, not only that, I was getting over quite a bad um, infection. Um, so before I even had the chance to have the operation, um, come down with a really bad um, chest infection or some sort of lung infection or whatever, whatever it was. Don't, still to this day, don't know what it was. Um, so I had to wait a good week or two before I could even have the operation on my shoulders. So I was laid up in a hospital bed in some sort of intensive pre-surgery ward in Basel Hospital um, on antibiotics and blood thinners and etc, etc, etc. But I always, I always put things in perspective when people say, oh, you, you must have had a tough life. Life is only tough if you make it tough. Uh, as you can see from our our, vlog, our previous videos and the things that we kind of get up to, I, I never really let it stop me from doing the things I want to do in my life and I never have and never will. Um, some of the things I've achieved in my life I probably wouldn't have achieved if I wasn't disabled and that sounds crazy. Um, like I've been, I've been tall ship sailing, um, I've done abseiling, I've done all sorts, so I've never really, I've never really let my brittle bones stop me. Um, I don't encourage people with brittle bones to go and do some of the crazy things that I do. I always say if you want to do it, then do it. Life is one of them things that I think neg negativity only will only ever breed the negativity. So if you're negative about your own kind of your own outlook on life, then you're only going to have a negative outcome. Um, I tend to try and wake up in the morning and look at the positive sides of, of where I've been and what, what was and where I am now. Like I said, two, three months ago, I couldn't even scratch my own nose. I was having to have people scratch it for me. And luckily I've had 
strong family unit and friends and I've had that kind of that help along the way um, without them I don't think I would have probably even got through what I've got through um, and as as crazy as it sounds it's been it has been tough it's been very tough um, I've, I feel like I've been through a lot this these past few months um, one of the biggest things for me is I've, I've since I was 16 I've always worked I've always had a job I've always held down a steady job and kind of loved working it's one of the things my granddad God rest his soul instilled, instilled in all of us that hard work is what is what is important in life um, and for the last three months I've not worked and it's just been it's been crazy um, I miss the people that I work with I miss going to work I miss doing that kind of that normal again thing in my life um, but hey it's gonna come back I know it will one day it'll, it'll come back again where I'll be able to just kind of get in my car and drive myself and it'll come it will um, but yeah I mean I don't I didn't I'm not making this video out of sympathy I'm not making it out of any sort of feel sorry for me plea um, it was more so that people have been asking where I've been for the last couple of months. Um, my Facebook posts haven't been as cheery as they normally are. Um, as you can appreciate, I've been kind of through through the kind of meal, as it were, mentally. Um, but hey, like I said, I always I always think less these, these things are, are, are kind of sent to us to to maybe. I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say slow us down or teach us things or I just I just think it's character building and I think what I've been through is and what I'm going to come out of at the end of it is going to be strong um it's going to make me a stronger person and I know it will I know I've got bigger things to come um I I look forward to what the future is going to hold um because I think it's it certainly it's certainly changed me it's it's going to change me as a person um so yeah if you have any questions or um you want to know more about brittle bones then uh keep watching because uh, i think this is probably going to be the first of many vlogs that i do um as an individual uh, kind of separate from from richard and beth um i'm not saying we're, we're not going to split up the group we're still going to do vlogs together obviously um but who knows let's see right if you like me give me a thumbs up Subscribe. Cheers for watching. Talov. Tara.